Okay. Hey, what's going on, Justice Con? Justice Con 2021. Wait, wait, wait. Can you believe it? 2021, the year of the Snyder Cut, Snyder Cut release. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. After all these years of fighting, after all these years of fighting for Zack, fighting for his creative vision, fighting for the original movie, shot, released the Snyder Cut, the Snyder Cut released. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations to you. You made this happen. We all made this happen. Us united. We are enjoying it. We are loving it. And apparently everyone else is loving it too. Duh! Now, oh hey, uh, what I'm doing here, uh, oh yeah, this session, <laughs> by the way, this workshop. Well, what I'm doing now is setting up for an audition I have to do. Because you see, I'm an actor. My name is Steve Kassan. I am an actor in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I have been acting for about, I would say, more than five, six, seven years, I say, going to my MDB. That shows I'm an actor, apparently. And you see tons of my credits. I think there's like 200 of them. 200! 200 acting credits and more to come after that. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to act. No, 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 no. There's much better, more informative, and much experienced people that can teach you how to act. In fact, I would say that most of us, all of us, we act in our regular lives. In fact, a lot of us act online, don't you think? The more you know. No, but what this session will be, what this workshop will be, is how to make a film. Not a big, huge film as your first time. I mean, unless it's nepotism, of course. Hey, Dad! It's like, I want to make a movie. <laughs> sure thing. Here, let me call my DP, let me call my editor, let me call the ACs, all the camera guys. They'll be all over. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah. The case is, the reality is, is that you will have to do everything by yourself. I mean, yeah, okay, sure you can go online and you can see, okay, what do I need to make a film? Well, so I need to make a script. I need to get a camera. And I need to get sound equipment. And I need to get actors. Done, okay, session over, bye. <laughs> There's much more than that. There's a lot more to it than just checking off what you need. Camera, script, actors, sound, in this journey, fighting for Zack in his journey to release the Snyder Cut. Now really, most of you, or some of you, thought to yourself, you know what, I want to start making films. I want to get into this and make my own stuff. See, back in 2017, myself and award-winning filmmaker Clint D'Souza, we made a series called How to Make a Film. And like I said, yeah, sure, you can go online and look at all what you need to make a film and everything like that. You see, Clint was like most of you and some of you right now. I watch films, I like films, Maybe I want to get into films. Maybe I want to make films on my own. Okay, where do I start? Camera, script, sound equipment, actors, okay. But soon you realize that, no, oh, there's, there's a lot more. There's a lot more problems and possibilities that can go here, there, and everywhere. So he made the series with me starring in it, of course. For first time and emerging filmmakers getting into it, and all the problems that comes ahead than just those four basic things. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guy, 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 2017? 2017? I mean, come on, we all know about 2017. You want to show me, you want to show them, you want to show us a series you made back in 2017 about how to make a film, hello? I mean, yeah, you do have a point, but like I said, you gotta start with the basic. And yeah, you may have the best camera, the better equipment, and nowadays you have tons of all that. Hell, you can even shoot your movie on your phone. And you can go online and look at tutorials and everything like that and tell you what to do. And all these tutorials are great. They're amazing. Well, we look at it. Clint looked at it. But you see, making your film, your first film especially, everything, anything, will go wrong. See, the thing is, making a film, it's not easy. Take it from me. I had to spend like 16 hours, sometimes 24 hours on set and seeing everybody work. Making the film is grueling. In fact, Deborah, when she had her interviews on League of Mayhem, she even said it. Making a film is grueling work. It's hard work. In the end of the day, when you put it all together and you see the results, you're gonna be glad that you did all the hard work. You're gonna be glad that you went through the trials, you went through all the problems, and you went through all of this. That's one thing all these tutorials don't teach you, is that they don't tell you all the bad stuff, all the hard work that takes into making a film. 
And that is what Clint wanted to show with this series. What do I tell for my first story? Can I manage my first story? Do I have the funds to even tell my first story? Now, I want to make this awesome, cool thing. Can I do it? Okay, I'm filming the scene. But wait, my settings are off. Great, I got all the sound. But when I listen to it again, oh no, the sound clips. Then I got these actors. Okay, can they take direction from me? Am I good at giving direction? Who am I gonna get for help? Who's gonna come help me? This is your first time making your film. Most likely you are gonna have to do everything by yourself. That sucks. But you learn about all aspects and you pay respect to everyone that does it. Eventually, when you do get people that will help you out, you'll understand that their time is worth that you'll value their time because you have done everything. Hold the boom pole to get sound. Wrangle cables. You have to adjust the lighting. Cool. Oh no, I have a shadow. Oh great. Shadows? I don't want that. Well maybe I do. I'm about to record. Wait a minute. I haven't said it for white balance. White balance? White balance? What, what do you mean by white balance? Your crop marks here. Do you want your crop marks here? With crop marks? What? Wait, what? There's all these decisions and decision makings that you will have to do in order to make your first film. But you gotta manage them, right? You gotta manage all of it. That's where you go back to the basics. And that's where Clint wanted to help everyone out. When you're making your film, you have to go through all of these things. That is one thing all these tutorials don't tell you. Trust me, we've looked through all of them. Mother of God, look at the time. I still need to do his audition. Just give me, give me a couple minutes, one second. Whether you love me or you hate me or you respect me or you don't, the one thing you can always say is that I've always called it straight. I've either loved with a passion or I hate it with a passion. And with a vengeance. Now there comes a time where you have a family member, one time or the other, that's always messing up. So you gotta grab him. And you gotta shake him up because words don't matter no more. Oh, Rick. I'm here in the back. My heart is beat. It's hitting over my chest. My stomach in knots. Because I'm as hell of a nervous wreck. Because I know that if I gotta, I gotta trade fists with someone that I love more than anyone in this world, more than God itself. Do you understand what I'm saying, Rick? You understand that you were a brother to me when I didn't have one. And now I gotta go out there and trade fists with you. And I have to do it. Because you see, when I wake up in the morning and I go to look at myself in the mirror, I got to respect myself. And I got to see that what I did was right. And have integrity. And I had to stand up as a man because if I don't have that, if I don't stand up in this world, then I got nothing. And my word doesn't mean anything. Right or wrong, I have to stand up. And I gotta face you, and I gotta face myself. Now, Rick, I give you, I give you everything that I have. Because that's all I can give. And I know, no matter what happens, that when I wake up in the morning, and I look at myself in the mirror, I know that. I've earned, I've earned my respect. And I will have earned your respect. That is what I promise. And that is what I give to you. And as God is my witness, as God is looking down at me. I will earn his respect too.
I will earn his respect. So what do you think guys? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? Is it too much? Is it too dramatic? Or is it like, oh, what is this guy talking about? But that is a process you will have to face when you put a casting call out and all these actors apply. And then, okay, okay I'm gonna get all these actors. Great! And then you see the tapes and like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're really amazing. They're all good. Who do I choose? And there's another issue coming into hand. You come across some people, I've come across some actors who well, some people, well, uh, you know, they could be, they could be jerks. They could be real jerks. Because let's be honest here, not everyone is like Zack. Not everyone is like Ray. Not everyone is a good person. I'm not saying the people you cast are jerks or bad people. It's just that when you're dealing with actors or when you're dealing with crew members or anyone, you do deal with personalities and you do deal with people that have certain barriers and certain borders to them, right? And making a film, yeah, it's one creative vision, but it's also a team effort. Making a film takes a village. It's so true. Even in your first one, where it might be just you and two other people, two or three gather together, and you get a village. Maybe. Now comes the other issue of like, okay, I picked the right person and the right guy, and then they come to set, and then you realize, I can't really work with them anymore. Or it's like, Ugh, it's kind of a bad situation here, man. If I tell them what to do, and they're giving me the right performance, but they're kind of hard to work with. Whereas you have someone else who, well, they're okay, I'm not saying they're bad. They're okay, they can't really give you what you want in performance-wise or what's written in the script. But they're so amazing to work with. They're like the best person, y'all. Like, they're so cool. They get along with everybody. These are decisions where you, as a filmmaker, will have to decide. Do I go with the person who is so talented, but hard to work with, and may even be an asshole? You go with someone else who is, they're okay, but they're so amazing like a rainbow. And that's a problem Clint had to face we're making his first film, and trust me, from experience working with Clint, we have to face it together. I'm not saying me! No, no, I, I like everybody. I get along with everyone. Hopefully I get along with everyone. Right? These are all the things I mentioned in this long intro. I mean, come on, let's get on with it! Ah! You will have to face as a first-time filmmaker. So thank you to Meg, Cole, Nana, thank you to Vero, better on Vero, thank you, everyone out there, for watching this workshop, this series, How to Make a Film. And I will be looking forward to your films, and I will be looking forward to acting in your films. Have a great Justice Con 2021, restore the Snyderverse, and this is... <laughs> oh, hello there. If you're expecting a video where filmmaker Clint Souza speaks to you and gives you advice on how to make your first film, your time would be better off somewhere else. The only person who will be speaking to you is yours truly, Limey Crickets as it is my sworn duty to bring to light how one can go about making their first film, as a certain someone did when they first started. This here is Clint. Handsome, muscular, and extremely lost. No, not the real Clint, but an actor portraying him. The real Clint isn't this muscular. At all. You see, when Clint first started, he too wanted to make a short film. But, like you, didn't know how to go about it. Clint had no friends or family in the film industry and didn't go to school to study film. He instead went to school to get a marketing management degree. Babe, what are you doing? Come on, you were supposed to be ready for work. You're going to be late again. I don't feel like it. I wish I could just make movies and quit my job, but I don't know where how to begin. Well, aren't movies born out of stories? Why don't you just write a script? Okay, I've got to go to work. Don't be late again.
That's right. The first part to any film is a rich and entertaining script. How do you write such a script, you ask? Well, any script should be able to answer the following questions. Who are the characters? What do they want? What are the obstacles that stand in their way? How do they overcome these obstacles? These four questions can be applied to any film, even the film we're watching right now. In this film, our main character is Clint. What he wants to do is make his first film. His obstacle is his lack of knowledge and experience in filmmaking. How he plans to overcome this obstacle? Well, no spoilers, so keep watching. How about an actor who's supposed to get picked up for a gig, but gets picked up in the wrong car, who's supposed to pick up a hitman in that time and place instead? A good story has multiple sources. It could be the experience of a friend or something you experience yourself, as was the case with Clint. As you may not know, Clint used to be a struggling actor. And yes, there was a day where he did get into the wrong car meant for someone else, but no, he wasn't mistaken as a hitman. Getting into the wrong car doesn't make for an exciting story. However, being mistaken for a hitman and getting picked up by the wrong people does sure sound exciting. Nah, no, that's gonna to be too expensive. First, I'll need gun props, vehicles, a location, a story that's reasonable and which I can do with my resources. Hmm. How about a simple husband and wife story where the husband doesn't say anything except for one word and the wife, she wants him to say more but gets more than she's bargained for. Ah, a simple yet interesting story. A classic husband and wife drama with a twist. By keeping the film simple, Clint is able to do it within his resources and a budget available to him. By casting two actors, using his house as the set, he is able to do the film without breaking the bank. So now, with the story in mind, let's put pen to paper. So grab a paper and pen. Wait, this isn't the 70s. Chuck that pen and paper and open up a document or some script writing software like Keltex. This software allows you to properly format your document like the pros. This would be a perfect time to leave and pretend the rest of the story were just as happy. Certainly, I wish I could go back and change the history of Clint D'Souza and prevent the descent into misery, tribulation, and dire inconvenience which would soon occur. Hello? Clint, this is your boss. Do you know what time it is? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I was just... I don't want to hear any more excuses. I warned you the last time. I'm sorry, but I've got to let you go. Don't bother coming to work. It is impossible for me to describe the roller coaster of emotions Clint was feeling at this time. If you ever had a breakthrough and lost your job at the same time, then you know how it feels. If you have not, then you cannot imagine it. What would he do next? Would he go ahead and make the film despite what just occurred? Stay tuned to find out more. My name is Limey Crickets, and it is my sworn duty to bring to light how you, an aspiring young filmmaker, can make a film. The last episode, we discussed writing a script. If you haven't seen that episode, then there's no need to keep watching. If you have, let's see what happens next. So what are all these cards for? It's to keep track of everything I need to make this film happen. I have cards here for props, locations, cast, sound effects, wardrobe, vehicles. It's a script breakdown. Script breakdown is a term here that means the important filmmaking process that allows us to determine and list the necessary elements to schedule, prep, and budget our film. Normally, there are more elements than covered by Clint, but for his script, we have all the essential elements noted. And how much is this going to cost? You don't have a job anymore in case you forgot. Uh, well... It's looking good so far. I don't need to scout location because we'll film here. And all the props I need, we have. I just need to find the actors for my husband and wife. Where are you going to find these actors? You know, I don't think we can afford actors. Why don't I ask my cousin Roger to do it? He would do it for free. 
You talking to me? I am gonna make him an offer that he can't refuse. Say hello to my little friend. I'll be back. Uh, uh <laughs> let's hold off on Roger. Um, why don't we find some real actors who will do it for free? I know some sites we can play the casting ad. Mm. I don't know, why would actors do it for free? I don't think you're gonna get many responses. Why don't I text Roger and see if he's available? The world of acting is cutthroat. There are thousands upon thousands of new hopeful actors looking to make their mark in the industry. With so much competition, they're willing to do work for low to no pay in efforts to get footage for their reel. Take me for example. I'm not being paid. Wait, what? This will never discuss with me, you guys. I apologize for my earlier behavior. To avoid instances such as this, make sure the terms of payment are clearly stated. Your project should have a description, character breakdown, union status, and if possible, shoot and or rehearsal dates. Be as clear and detailed as you can. When starting out, you can make use of sites such as Casting Call Pro, Craigslist, or the various casting groups on Facebook. By the way, have you thought of angles, shots, and what you're gonna to use to film? There is no word to describe the feeling of realizing and knowing instantly that something is terribly wrong. Oh, it's Roger. If there were, Clint would have used that word when he realized he completely forgot an important step. F Seems I spoke too soon. I forgot the storyboard. Ugh. Storyboard is a term here that refers to a sequence of drawings, typically with some direction and dialogue that helps you plan the shots for your film. You don't have to be an artist to create a storyboard, and I'll prove it to you. Take this picture, for example. It is a representation of this scene we are shooting right now. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. Storyboards can help you construct your film, plan your shots, and your edit. Once you have your storyboard in place, you'll have a better idea of the equipment needed to shoot your film. What am I gonna do for equipment? My friend has a GH4, so I can borrow that, but I need audio and light. The internet is a fascinating place. You can find almost anything you can think of. A purple monkey dishwasher? Oh, it's there. A reporter in a zebra costume interviewing another in a zebra costume? Oh, it's there. Everything you need to shoot a film on a tight budget? Yep, that's there too. I can buy a cheap mic to get clean audio can buy lights and even use a reflector to cover up the shadows. I could buy a used tripod and fluid head that could save me a lot more. Still don't know how to use a GH4. I have spent months of research trying to discover the turning point when Clint went from wishing he could make a film to actually making a film. It's at this precise moment when he came across a filmmaker, Tom Antos, and his numerous tutorials that covered everything he wasn't sure about. It gave him that much needed boost of confidence that made him say, I can do this. Woo do what? Make this film. Everything I need to know and what to do with what I have is here online. I'm for some amazing tutorials by this guy, Tom Antos, about composition, lighting, grading, etc. But other amazing tutorials by other filmmakers like Ryan Connolly, Caleb Pike. That's great. Guess what? Mm. I have more good news. Roger's available. Uh... Yeah, he said he'd do it for free. He did mention that he got cast in a big film, but he said he'd drop it for this. I don't know why, but uh, he said anything for family. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, why don't I see if I got any responses for the roles I posted? I must have gotten a few. <laughs> mm, I don't know. If you were ever sure about something, so sure that when reality hits, it's nowhere close to what you expected, that's exactly what happened to Clint. He was dead wrong. He didn't just get a few applications. 300? He got more than a few. Over 300 applicants, so many to go through. Well, someone doesn't have work in the morning. So you should have plenty of time to go through them. By now, you should know who I am. 
But for those of you new to the series, my name is Limey Crickets, and it is my sworn duty to bring to light how an aspiring young filmmaker like yourself can make their first film. So far, we have gone through writing the script, script breakdown, casting calls, and online tutorials. Now, Clint has over 300 applications to go through to cast a perfect husband and wife. Clint is screening his applicants and narrowing down his choices to candidates he feels look right for the role. The next logical step would be to narrow it down even more by having potential clients send in a self-tape, also known as a video audition, before having an in-person audition. Right, time to set up the in-person auditions. Narrow it down to 30 or so candidates. Send them the time, place, and lines to read. One thing I've learned is that when Clint screws up, it is useful for a moment of quiet contemplation with a cup of coffee or some other powerful beverage. However, I have all the confidence that Clint will find the actors he needs, albeit taking a bit longer. When conducting auditions, it's important to stagger them in intervals of one another. That way, actors aren't intimidated by each other and remain in the right headspace. Having them set at 10 to 15 minute intervals is a good place to start. This was the first and last time Clint made this mistake. Is Toby here? Toby, hi, you're next, come on in. It's a good idea to record the audition and make notes on the performance. That way, it will help later to make a proper decision on the right candidate. Hey, hey Toby, hey, glad you could make it. Thanks. Hope you uh, found a place and didn't have any trouble? Clint, being a past performer, knows just how nerve-wracking these auditions can be. That's why he never jumps right into it. Instead, he likes to ease the tension with a little friendly banter. Hey, you're wearing blue. I like blue. Yeah. It's like a Billy in the Power Rangers. I watch Power Rangers. I love it. The Red Ranger's the best. Like Jason, because he does the spin kicks, and he's the leader, right? I can do spin kicks. Paula can't do spin kicks, but... She's like the Blue Ranger. See, she's wearing blue too. So <laughs> it's all fine because that's why the Red Ranger is better than the Blue Ranger. Because you can do spin kicks. Yeah, so uh, Paula will uh, read lines with you and uh, we'll start, okay? Okay, tell me when you're ready. Ready, settle, action. What the hell is going on? You talk too much. Always with the blah, 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 blah. You think I'm boring because I, I don't talk? I don't talk much. But the truth is, I don't give a f I don't give a f about what you're saying. It's so boring. Uh, when, when, when you uh, uh... talk, I can actually feel my brain choking itself into unconsciousness. You believe I'm the problem. So if I change, things are going to be magical. Huh? Well, how you like me now? Am I lively enough for you? So, what do you think about my performance? Yeah, the best, 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 best. Uh, I, uh, I, I'll be in, in, in touch with, with the results, with the results. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. She's good. She has no. so much. Uh, no. But come on, Paula, she has so much no. talent. Talent. She, she can read? Yeah, no. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that girl. That's a full body boy. Jeez. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, it's important not to get distracted from the task at hand. When casting for a role, it's important we focus not simply on looks, but also, and most importantly, acting talent. Forgive me from getting distracted from my sworn duty. It happened to the breast of the best of us. Oh, something, huh? Okay, but I think uh, there was at least two decent candidates and I believe I found our husband and wife. Yeah, yes. Oh wait, Roger didn't even audition yet. He was supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. Hey, uh, sorry I was late. Um, you won't believe this hottie is just outside. Oh, uh, did she audition? Is she gonna be my screen wife? Uh, um, one, one step at a time, Roger. It's, 
Um, let's get this audition done first. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, settle. Are you ready? Yeah. Action. What the hell is going on? Shh. You talk too much. Always with the blah 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 blah. You think I'm boring? Just because. Uh, line. Just. Give me one sec. Sorry. Don't talk much. You think I'm boring because I don't talk much? Uh. <laughs> Am I lively enough? Okay, we're done here. Uh, thanks a lot, Roger. Uh, that was, that was something. <clears throat> something great, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, when do we start shooting? Uh, hey, didn't you say you got this big feature movie role? I mean, that has to be pretty big. Why would you do this? Oh, that. That's fine. I, I get these roles all the time. No problem if I turn that one down. You know, I'll just get another one. But family comes first, right? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, Roger. Then uh, we have to review uh, all the candidates and then we'll, we'll get back to you with results. Yeah, yeah, sure. Do what you gotta do. But keep me in mind, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll wait for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, 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 have sure. to, you have to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Please. Anyway, get up. Please. See you guys. So I'm leaning towards these two. Yeah, agreed. Talented and fit the role perfectly. By the way, this package came for you. Oh, cool. I think it's the gear ordered. I'll be ready for my shoot next week. How long do you think it'll take to finish everything? It's a four-page script, so I would say one hour per page, but just to be safe, I would say two hours, since this is my first time. Include breaks, I would, we wrap in eight hours. What do you want to do for meals? Oh, pizza? Oh, hell no! I used to be an actor. Sometimes we would get horrible food. Sometimes even no food. No. Only the best for our actors. Plus, it's the four of us. Let's order some gourmet food. It won't be pricey. You'll pay. We'll pay. <clears throat> it's in good practice to ensure your actors are treated as well as possible, especially if they're volunteering their time. By ensuring there's gourmet food, only calling them on set in the times they are needed, and looking forward to their every need as long as it's within reason are some of the ways to get the best out of them. Once you're getting the most of your actors and they're well kept, you will get the best performance, and if needed, they won't mind if the performance tends to go a little longer than usual. Such is the case on this episode. Actor, settle. Reflector, up. Thank you. Action. You know, after all these years, I thought that you were just shy. My name is Limey Crickets, like and it is my sworn duty to bring to light to you, a young filmmaker, how to make a short film. Why am I the one who always speaks, you know? Yeah, I just you may be wondering, one word Limey, like why the long face? Well, you like that? some things in life are difficult to understand. Even after years and years of wandering desolate landscapes, usually between episodes, trying to piece them together. What I fail to understand is why Clint, after doing so much research and preparation, failed to test his new equipment. What Clint doesn't realize is, at this very moment, his audio settings are off, meaning that all the dialogue being recorded is being clipped. While he did test the settings for the mic, the settings he used were for a different camera, which, sadly, don't apply to the one used today. What turned out to be a decent film 
could have been a great one. If only, if only he did a couple of test shots. Cut. Okay, let's move to scene eight. Wait, what about scene seven? Oh, that's a different angle. If I shoot everything in order, then I would have to reposition everything and that'll take up too much wasted time. Best I shoot all my shots, one angle, and then move to the next. We could watch Clint make this whole movie, but let's just skip forward to the end. Everything that you would like to see here could be found online and in more depth. What's wrong? Uh, I can't believe I messed up being a beginning. It's a good thing I reviewed and transferred all the footage during lunch. All the audio I got before then, it's too loud. It clips. What about all the shots after lunch? Uh, those are okay. It's just in the beginning. It's a good thing I changed the audio setting. So do we have to shoot again? No, no. no. I'm looking online to see in ways how I can fix it. Uh, the audio will be improved and a bit more audible than before, but it's just the beginning. See, I told you to test your equipment before. But you were all like, no. Who's right? Yeah, you should just listen to me from now on. Okay, 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 go, go, go. No, I have a lot of work to do. I, I won't get any sleep if I don't fix this. Okay, don't stay up too late. Good night, and don't worry. I know you'll fix it. I believe in you. Dialogue that cannot be salvaged can be re-recorded in a process called looping, or ADR. Since Clint was unable to pay the actors, he felt bad and didn't want to take any more of their time. He was able to salvage some of the dialogue to a manageable level. At one point, Clint also wanted to give up and stop the project altogether. But it's a good thing he didn't, otherwise he wouldn't have reached the levels of success that he has today. You, the viewer, wouldn't be watching this film. I wouldn't be a part of this exciting project. It's a good thing Clint didn't give up. The next few weeks, Clint will be busy in a process called post-production. Post-production here means a process which includes tasks such as editing footage, mixing audio and sound, inserting effects, as well as color correcting and grading. Once done, it is important to test across laptops, computers, and cell phones to ensure sound is right across all platforms. It's done, it's ready. All the messed up audio parts are fixed now, and I didn't mess up uh, the focus on a few shots, but pretty good for my first film. Great, I knew you could do it. So who should we show it to? Uh, Jack's coming by later. We can show it to him. That could have been me. That could have been me. So, what do you think? Hmm, some quality issues. But not the worst thing I've seen. Yeah. He didn't hate it. Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, uh, <laughs> Limey Crickets have finally shown you everything you need to know to make your first film. If Clint can do it, so can you. The first may not be the best, but every film will continue to get better and better until you too can be an award-winning filmmaker like Clint. <laughs>